What's up, Lifting Up family? We're back with another Lifting Up Reacts video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also, follow us on all social media. We're here on YouTube, obviously. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, all at Lifting Love Reacts. You'll see the green heart. Make sure you go subscribe here if you haven't. And also, follow on all of our channels. We're posting every single day. Just about. Just about. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, but let's get into this video. This is Iraq. Um, $1 versus... Ten thousand dollar public dares. Let's go. I'm challenging strangers to do dares for one dollar, one thousand dollars, and all the way up to ten thousand dollars, just to see how far people are willing to go to step out of their comfort zone. Now, my friends and I do stuff like this to each other all the time, so I thought I'd change things up today and give strangers the opportunity to try this for themselves. And I thought to myself, we were making this video. Where in this city could I go to find the most interesting characters possible? And there is absolutely no place like Venice Beach, California. For ten dollars, would you step out of your comfort zone? Yes. No, no, you're already too far out of your comfort zone. You want to step out of your comfort zone for a grand today? Any chance you would want to make a thousand dollars? No, I can't. I'm good, but a thousand dollars step out of your comfort zone? Oh, odds? Are you serious? Yeah, normally. It's not anything crazy. You don't have to get naked. I would just put you. What's your name? Tom. I love you. We need this guy. Bring this guy back. You're awesome. Now that we got our first contestant, it was time to take him to this extremely fancy restaurant called Jim's Kitchen. Filled with real guests, and I'm going to send Tom in there as a fake waiter and got him through three levels that each push him further outside of his comfort zone. The further you go, the more money you make. It's pretty simple. Sweet, right on. Why did you agree to this? Well, my mom passed away recently. Really? Uh, she did. I just think life's short, and I'm, I'm trying to make the most of it, so. Yeah, we are. I have been sucked into anything like this. I've done some weird shit, but this is new. Good luck in there. Let's do it. I appreciate it. As usual, I have a bug in Tom's ear so I can talk him through what he needs to do. I only put one waiter in this room, so Tom is completely responsible for feeding all of these people. Everybody's got food, right? Yes. Oh, thanks for that. All right, Tom, for level one, to earn one dollar, I want you to grab the Parmesan and the cheese grater and go around and grate cheese for people on their plates. But instead of stopping when they want you to stop, you're going to stop when I say to stop. Cheese? Tom, I want you to fill this man's plate to the brim. What brings you me today? He's trying to have a conversation so we can buy more time. Say one, by the way. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know you like that cheese. Oh, okay. This is not. He's still going. Sorry, say when. Oh, both when. Keep going, keep going. Okay. Keep going. I know you love that cheese. No, no, I'm okay. Let's go. Ahead. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> Alright, keep going. Keep going. Oh my god. Are you good? Are you good? Oh, thank goodness. I oh, thought I was gonna be here all day. Cheese? <laughs> Great choice, actually. Dude, Tom is a legend. I feel like people are gonna think he's a paid actor. He's a real man I found on the street. Great job, Tom. You just earned yourself $1 on level one. Alright, what do you kids want next? <laughs> For level two, for one hundred dollars, what I want you to do is go around and eat food off of the customer's plates. Do you accept my challenge? Oh yes. Oh no, he's so eager. How you doing, man? What's your name? Stefan. Stefan. It's been a bit of a day so far. Anyway, in England, Brussels sprouts are a delicacy. Would you mind terribly if I just had a little taste of home? Uh, no, it's not Brussels sprouts. No, 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 you can't do that, bro. You're working, man. No, no, I understand. Yeah, the yeah, thing is, I'm just being nice. You have a job to do, so you should do that. Oh my gosh! Wow. This guy's not having it, bro. I'll leave you. Bro, be nice to people. I mean, it's rude. Dude, they did not let him take a sliver of food off that table. Hello. Hello. How's your cheese? Uh, pretty cheesy. Is he leaving? <laughs> what? Oh, he's playing the piano. Look at that guy. Tom just distracted them and took their food. Maybe he can steal his food while he's gone playing piano. Oh, he's coming back! He's coming back! He's coming back! Oh no! Tom oh, just took his food! Oh, that guy's pissed, man. You got anything else for me? Tom, you just earned yourself $100. Are you at all interested in level Loki, this should be a series. Three. Oh, yes. I am on it. All right, so first I need you to bring out the dessert. I believe dessert is in order. And once you're done serving everyone, what you're going to do is start a food fight. Very much hope you've enjoyed your experience at Jim's so far. <laughs> There's no way they did. I don't know if any of you have met Jim. He's a terrible chef. Dreadful. <laughs> However, the dessert course, Jim famously feels, is better mixed with the oils of the human body. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, 
I can't tell any more pattern on the food they <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! On the count of three, I want everyone in this room to throw everything on their plate at me. One! Oh, no, 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 I'm getting around him! Two! Three! Wow, Tom, congratulations. You can make your way to the van. Bro, this guy, legendary. Legendary. This should legit be a series. Bro, everyone in that room is covered in food right now. I can't tell if they had a positive or negative dining experience. Tom! Oh! Yes! You don't want this, man. <laughs> congratulations. Here's your money. Congratulations. Everybody comment if you want Tom to come back and do a video. I guess yes. over the next bit, now, he might have had to step out of his comfort zone in front of 20 or 30 people. But what if the room was 50 times bigger? Well, there just so happens to be a show in Philadelphia. And my friends, two friends, DJ Duo, I'm I'm trying to get somebody to step out of their comfort zone. Friends. Guys, I have a question for y'all. Would you step out of your comfort zone for $1? No, probably not. I hope you guys have a great night, though. Thanks, you too. Why was that so awkward? I have a question for you. Would you be down to step out of your comfort zone for $10? Jesus, down. Would you be down to step out of your comfort zone for $10? Let's go. Why was this so easy? Because I'm always down for an adventure. What's your name? Rachel. You're coming with me. I'm not letting go. There's a show going on downstairs right now. Everybody else is down there having a good time. How far out of your comfort zone are you actually willing to go? I'm willing to give anything a try once. You could say you've been preparing your whole life for this moment. I'm built for any moment. We will find Damn, out if that's true or not. So confident. It's time to see how prepared Rachel truly was. To do that, I'm going to have her perform as a fake musician known as DJ Dumpster Fire. All right, we're backstage. Rachel is about to go on instead of the DJs that everyone paid to see two friends. Thank you so much for letting us crash the set. Now the goal is to push Rachel out of her comfort zone today, but another thing that can push people out of their comfort zone is starting a business, and that is made easy with the help of Shopify. Give a big welcome to DJ Dumpster Fire. Alright, for one dollar, you have to do anything we say. I want you to say, make some noise if you have a rash. Make some noise if you have a rash! <laughs> it is low-key pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Shopify allows you to sell online, in person, and across Ooh. all social media. Bro, the fact that he's doing this with an ad in front of it is just Regardless makes of your me technical funnier. ability or experience, Shopify offers an easy to use all in one commerce platform for anyone to help you be comfortable enough to start, grow, and manage a business. Kind of like how comfortable Rachel looks right now. Why is she so confident? I actually got out of my comfort zone when I started my company, Pizzafy, and I would only trust Shopify to run that site. Tell everybody to quiet down. Can you quiet down just a little bit? Too loud! I'm trying to remind me of what we threw the world's largest pizza party where Shopify helped us sell merch and pizza pie to you guys in person using their point of sale system. They're like really strict, like really mad. Yo, yo, seriously, like shut the up. <laughs> this is so painful. All right, Rachel, you have passed level one. Congratulations. You just earned one dollar. Do you want to move on to level number two? I don't think Rachel trusts me, but you should trust Shopify because they power millions of businesses across 175 countries. And they can help you finally start the business that you've been dreaming about. All right, we're going to turn down the music right on the uh, drop. When the music cuts, tell them it hurt your ears so you just like didn't want to go too loud. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, they're mad. They're mad. Tell them they're going to have to be good boys and girls. You've got to be good boys and girls. Be good. <laughs> That's level two. I actually started using Shopify five years ago, which means I've actually been partnered with Shopify longer than I've been partnered with YouTube, which is crazy. This video in this channel is about stepping out of your comfort zone. And the barrier has never been lower. You can go to shopify.com slash to start your free trial today. Would you like to move on to level three for $1,000? Yes. All right, I've got a really big surprise for you. I'm gonna let the boys tell you. All right, so our dude Marshmallow is actually here tonight. No one's ever actually seen his face, but for $1,000, he can take off his helmet and reveal his identity to everybody, okay? Marshmallow does not know that you're doing this. This is up to you whether you want to reveal his face or not. The one thing I didn't tell you guys was that, um, I am Marshmallow tonight. It's pretty legit. That was pretty legit, right? You're gonna do great. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was gonna get out there and like, she didn't hesitate at all. There she is. 
I am so excited. Yo, this girl is awesome. Hey, dude, I feel like I'm at a fail at pushing out of your comfort zone. Do you think I need to go harder on the rest of the video? Oh, the rest of the people, yeah. Right. You need to go harder. Philadelphia was fun, but I had an even bigger idea. Like, really, really big. And what better place to do it than the biggest city in America? Is there any shot you want to be a part of my game show today? Is there any shot you want to be on my game show? Alright. Oh, man, this is brutal. What's your name? My name's Andy. I'm doing a game show today where I'm paying people to do embarrassing things. Is there any shot you want to do that with me? Uh, I'm sorry. I, look, I'm, I don't know, man. I just, I just moved here like three days ago. I moved here to be an actor. What if I were to pitch you on acting like a tour guide? Look, I seem like the type of guy that's pretty difficult to embarrass, to be honest. Is that what we're doing? You're gonna try and embarrass me? Yeah, yeah good luck. We're gonna have fun today. Psych. Alright, Andy, today you're going to be a tour guide on this ferry full of- Wait, yo, how does he find these people, man? Strangers. Be I'm gonna need you to put this in your ear. I'll be below deck so I can speak in your ear and tell you what you need to do. We're gonna take this boat all the way to the Statue of Liberty, and I've got three levels of embarrassment for Andy. It looks like everyone's having a great time, so let's introduce everybody to Andy. So, uh, my name's, uh, Captain Tim, and I'll be your host today. <laughs> Turn around and just go, wow, look at that view! Wow! Look at that view! Holy sh- Holy sh- <laughs> No one's paying attention, they just <laughs> We're about to enter level one. As you can see, all of our wonderful tourists are getting drinks served to them. So, Andy, for one dollar, I need you to go around and take a drink out of all of these people's cups. Okay. I, I should've gotten some more. You don't mind if I just- Alright, I get really tired here. Oh, bro. Oh, oh, baby! That's it? Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Sure. Uh, Why uh, if I just, just let me steal this? That's a fraction. Oh, careful. You're on It's just awkward to watch. It's awkward. Oh, no, I got, I got, I got, I got some. Are you gonna pull a shoey or what? Oh. <laughs> Much better. Oh, no, shit. Congratulations, that's one dollar, baby. Oh, there she is. Ah, bro, it's crazy. It's right there. I've actually, actually never been to the Statue of Liberty. All right, Andy, we're entering level two. I need you to stand at the front of the boat. Talk to everyone and say, all right, guys, I present to you the Statue of Liberty. I need you to give a speech convincing these people that the Statue of Liberty should have been a man. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of interesting facts surrounding the Statue of Liberty. I don't know if you guys knew this one. It should have been a man. I mean, try to get somebody to agree with you. Dude or a lady? I'd prefer a dude. You prefer a dude? I would feel like I could like resemble and empathize more with this guy. All right, now flip your perspective entirely and make you feel bad about it. It's kind of like a really ch attitude, though. You know, I don't know if I would agree with you. I don't know if I'd say that. Yeah, like you think you should just be like this guy that's like, oh, look at my huge. <laughs> you can stop trying to make Mr. Liberty happy. You just won one hundred dollars. You are now entering. Level three. Let's go, baby. For level three, I need you to get as many people as you can to jump off the back of the boat with you in celebration of your birthday. This is what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. Well, I want you guys to know it's actually my birthday today. Guys, guys. Build it up, build it up. This is the best day of your life. This is probably like one of the best days of my life because I got to share it with you guys. I got to share it with you guys. Anyone wants to help me celebrate, I'd love you to join me up here at the front of the boat as we jump off the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jumping off this boat. You guys come with me? Uh, He's seriously gonna do it. Give me a liberty here, give me a <laughs> he did it! That's level three! He did it! Andy, you dirty boy! This is $1,101. That's yours. Congratulations. That's alright, it's all good. Three hours ago we were strangers, now we're best friends and you're soaking wet. A next bit, I guess? For the grand finale, I came to Yankee Stadium to find someone who will Honestly? That was kind of far. Push themselves further than anyone in this video. I'll give one of you guys $10,000 to run the field right now. Yes, right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Uh, okay. Yes. Run the field? Yeah. <laughs> if I pay my bail, I'll pay your bail. I wish I could, but I can't. And, and, and my hands right here. Do it. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Night with the boys. This is it. Okay, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I'd do it. He pays my bail and gives me 10 k I'll do it. Oh. He's going, he's going, he's going. Oh my god! Time is 
Last time we've got a fan running out of the field. He did it! He did it! He did it! Oh! Oh my God! Oh. And that's all you get. We need, we need to know what happened to that fan. We need to know what happened to that fan. But hey, listen, if you haven't done so already, make sure you go subscribe to our channel. Follow all of our social media platforms. Check out Arax's channel. He's killing it. He's doing awesome things. Gonna react to some of his older videos. Kind of get back in, uh, caught up with everything. Haven't really, wasn't really on YouTube before we went crazy with the reaction channel. So I have a lot of catching up to do. But this was another Lift and Love Reacts video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what you want us to react to next. And until next time, lift a load, crochet. Just like that. We out.